Hey y'all, this is Menzi here at Camping World Draper. Rich, Michelle, it was super great getting to meet y'all earlier. I just wanted to step back into this camper, kind of walk through it again, and really figure out if, you know, this is going to get y'all's job done for what you're needing it for. So, we'll kind of start back in this living area. Let me fix this real quick. Actually, maybe, oh, we got to look at that space. We need another what's going into here perfect cool so back in the 295 rl all of your paneling and so forth right here that kitchen storage we were chatting about earlier is this thing's insane y'all you're loaded out this is a kind of a goofy cut hmm. oh i guess with the paneling box okay I mean, storage on this, really, you got space for days. And then not to mention this whole pantry. With all of the cabinetry drilled in. It's a really nice kind of deal to check out. Here you're going to have your RV residential refrigerator. That's going to be propane and electric. got a nice three top burner and stove in here little conventional oven and a nice island kitchen with a double-sided sink so that's a nice little feature and i know when grandkids come over we would need space and kind of as y'all were mentioning earlier pop this bed out probably come out just about to here grandkids got plugins on both sides of for their phone lots of storage on top as well these, mis or these seats are going to recline and be vibrating as well, from what I've gathered. Over here is going to be that table. I know y'all had mentioned that booth dinette would probably be more of y'all's preferred. So we can definitely check into that. But worst comes to worst, y'all made a good point of a fort under here and little eight-year-old me screamed. So I love y'all's vision with that one. Coming up these stairs, we got... Our key holders and coat holders over here. Our central vacuum. Back into our bathroom now. Perfect space on this restroom. Nice little medicine cabinet. Actually you get two, which is pretty cool. So lots of storage is there. You really just can't go wrong with what we got going on. With clear and easy connections to your sink and what's cool too is if you kind of look down you can see the um the storage area so what's cool with that is for one gonna be easily serviceable for two any kind of leakage that goes on will run under there and it will be so easy to clean up not that that should happen though this is a montana so hold up pretty well now this is nice. I like the corner seating because it really just gives you good space in here and sitting on it, I mean, you're not completely sliding off. Right under the water, you got some knee space. So not bad. Now, I don't know if y'all have a lot of clothes or shoes or supplies, but this is just like actually ridiculous. And then if y'all wanted to add like a stackable in here, all we gotta do is just take off this middle shelf and then you got, you got a whole setup. Now that we're in this bed space, you'll have a side table on this side with little baskets on top, phone chargers on both sides as well. Pretty nice. Probably putting your phone to the top here. Okay. Got your own AC unit in here. And as I mentioned earlier, these are residential. So you can actually go pick up the filter for this in a Home Depot and replace it yourself. So save you a couple bucks on service. You do have your TV set up right here and your Wi-Fi hookup or Wi-Fi prep is right here as well. Okay. 
And then you got some extra plugins right here. As I mentioned last time, these are front made caps, right? Custom made. And so what's cool about it is if it's got any kind of damage to it, you don't got to bring, you know, this whole camper does not have to be kind of in a quote, be made up, built up. Uh, they just get a new cap in here, put the cap on, install the furniture, and then you're set. So, plus this view. Oh, okay, let's imagine it. Wake up. Oh, the lake's so pretty. Oh, the sky's so pretty. This, yeah. Game changer. The view on this. Grab your phone from up top. And these, uh outlets do run off your solar as well so if you have like a CPAP machine or anything you have access even when you're not plugged into a campsite so that's really awesome wow this is really nice this is just so everything's there i like it so we'll go ahead and pop up this underbed storage now what I really like about this is, for one, holds itself up, which is nice. But for two, it's not so deep where you're, like, bumping your head trying to get down here. So, easily accessible. Flip this back on over. So, we'll go ahead and step outside now. So you'll have two awnings on this bad boy, which is pretty cool. Full pass-through storage, got a nice cap under as well. And then a fully enclosed underbelly, so truly rated for all four seasons. Got your TV hookups for satellite. First propane tank's gonna be on this side. This is where I'd imagine if you were to have a generator where it would sit. Probably to build out the exhaust and so forth. Right here is where your solar charger is gonna be. And your batteries as well. And it is going to have electric leveling and auto level. Second propane tank. Over here, we're gonna have your sanitary clean station. This is really nice to see in campers, so. Cable hookups here, extra plug-in for boondocking or just a panel in general. You can do your own winterization, which is pretty nice. And then they give you access right here to run all of your wiring. This right here, easy access to your gray tank as well. I have a feeling we're probably gonna have some rain here shortly. Back here, this is where we're gonna have that prep for a backup camera, access to your roof, so full walkable roof. You can pull 3,000 pounds on this bad boy. Nice, very nice. Coming back this way, we're gonna have steps that touch the ground. And here's where it gets gonna show you that this has 400 eyes, so two panels in your Montana high country all four seasons so that's kind of a wrap on this montana y'all this is this is luxury at its finest this is a very beautiful camper and i'd love to i'd love to make this work for y'all so let me know your thoughts and let's see if we can figure out next steps for y'all but other than that have a great rest of your night and we will chat soon thank you Bye bye